Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very lovely guitar keychain. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with a chain 7. So we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, and then starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do single crochet all the way until we have one stitch remaining. Okay, so we'll do single crochet. One. Then another single crochet in the next uh, stitch. Then do single crochet in the next chain then single crochet and single crochet over here okay so now in the last stitch we are going to do three single crochet in the same stitch okay so we'll do single crochet one then another single crochet in the same stitch and then one single crochet in the same stitch okay and then we'll continue to this other side and on this other side we'll do single crochet one and then single crochet two and then single crochet three single crochet four okay and then in the last chain over here we are going to increase so we'll do two single crochets in the same stitch Okay, then I'll place my marker over here. So now we have a total of 14 stitches. So now from here in the second round, we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 14 stitches. So we continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and continue doing single crochet all the way round. Okay, so after we get to the end now, in the third round, we are going to do again single crochets all the way round for a total of 14 stitches. So you're going to continue to do single crochets. And continue all the way to the end. Okay, so now in the fourth row, we are going to start by doing six single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then after that we'll decrease one time okay so we'll do a decrease Okay, and then on this other side, we'll do five single crochets. So single crochet, one, two, three, four, and 
and five okay and then we'll decrease one last time okay so now we have a total of 13 stitches okay so now in the fifth row we are going to do four single crochet then decrease and we'll repeat that again one more time for a total of 10 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then decrease and repeat that again one more time so we'll do four single crochets one two three four and decrease okay <clears throat> so now in the sixth row we are going to do uh, four single crochet and then increase and then we'll repeat that two times so we'll have a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then increase and repeat that one more time so four single crochets one two three four and increase okay now in the seventh row we are going to do uh, five single crochets then increase and repeat that one time for a total of 14 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then increase And we'll repeat that again. So five single crochets. And increase. okay so this is how it looks like so far okay so now in our eighth row we are going to start by doing a single crochet in the next two stitches so we'll do single crochet one then single crochet two and then we'll decrease one time okay and then after that we're going to skip nine stitches so we'll count one two three four okay one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so over here so 
So in, when we skip all those stitches in the last chain over here, we are going to do a single crochet. Okay, and then I'll slip stitch into the next stitch. And cut off the yarn. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so after I'm done with that, on this opposite side, here so we finished over here so you're just going to come over here and do count one two two stitches on this side and i'll put my crochet hook over here and i'll put my marker to join the yarn so i'll join the yarn over here And I'll do a chain one okay and then after I do a chain one I'll continue to this other side over here and I'll do two single crochet so I'll do single crochet one and single crochet two okay and then I'll increase in the next stitch. And then in the next two stitches, I'll do single crochets. Like that. Okay, so that's how it looks like. Okay, and then after that, I'll just turn to this other side and then I'll do four single crochet. So starting from here, I'll do single crochet. One, Then single crochet, two, three, and four. Okay, and then after that, I'll decrease. So I'll do a decrease. Okay, and then I'll go into the next stitch and slip stitch. And cut off the end. Okay, so this is how our guitar looks like, as you can see like that okay okay so now you're just going to cut off these yarns over here and then we're going to make the upper part okay so now to make the upper part i'm just going to come and join my yarn over here So on this lower side at the center, so we have the three stitches, the shorter side. So I'm just going to join on this side like that. Okay, and I'll do a chain one to join. And then starting to where I joined the yarn, I'm just going to do single crochet. One. 
okay and then do single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet in the third stitch like that okay and then i'm going to turn i'm going to skip this longer side the longer side as you can see and then i'm going to go into the other side where the longer side ends and i'm going to do single crochet one and another single crochet okay so now we have five single crochets okay i'm just going to place my marker over here so that's the first row of the upper side okay so now from the second row until the ninth row which is a total of eight rounds we are going to do five single crochets all the way around uh, for a total of five single crochets in each round so i'll show you how to do it uh, in the second row we're going to go here where we started so i'm going to do single crochet so one single crochet and then single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four and single crochet five okay so you continue doing five single crochets until you get to the ninth round okay so i'll see you when you're done with the ninth round so that would do the tenth round together okay so after you're done with the ninth row this is how it looks like okay so now in the tenth row we are going to start by doing single crochets okay so we'll do single crochet in the first stitch and then we'll do three single crochets in the next stitch okay so we'll do single crochet one and then you'll do another single crochet in the same stitch and one last single crochet in the same stitch okay and then after that we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch and then in the last stitch we'll do three single crochets in the same stitch so we'll do single crochet and then another single crochet in the same stitch and then one last single crochet in the same stitch so now we have a total of nine stitches okay so now in the 11th row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of nine stitches so you continue and do single crochet all the way until you get to the end
okay so now after that now in the 12th stitch which is the last stitch we are going to do single crochet okay so we're going to start by doing single crochet and then in the next stitch we'll do uh we'll decrease uh four times so we'll decrease and then decrease in the next stitch and then decrease again and then decrease one last time Okay, so now to finish off, I'm going to remove my marker and then I'm going to slip stitch. And cut off the yarn. Okay, so after that, we are going to do the finishing. Okay, so now to finish up, you're just going to embroider the little strands over here. So I did four strands uh, using a needle and a yarn. And then I attached my key ring over here like this. Okay, as you can see. And that's it guys. So if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And also check out my other videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Until next time, bye.